The Garmin Approach R10 Portable Launch Monitor is a game changer and it's incredibly affordable. In this video, we'll tell you everything you need to know about it and why it can be so beneficial for your game. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf, joined today by Thomas Campbell, Master Fitter at Second Swing at Minnetonka. And today we're talking about the Garmin Approach R10. Uh, Thomas, last fall we did some testing with it, and we're bringing it out again because it's become super popular for golfers out there and a great option for uh, golfers maybe on a budget but still want to benefit from their game, know about their launch monitor data, and get some great practice down the range or play golf at home. Yeah, it's more budget friendly than say a TrackMan or a Bushnell Launch Pro. Yeah. I'm actually part of some Facebook groups and some forums and I've seen a lot of chatter on those forums and those groups about this particular post. I've seen people posting videos and talking about how great it's been just you know, being able to get in their garage and hit some shots in the winter time. Right, and the nice thing here is that second swing here, it's May 2022 and for a limited time we're having a bunch of uh, in stock selection of Garmin Approach R10s and for a really affordable price and so we wanted to you know show all of you viewers why exactly this is such a beneficial uh, item for you to have as part of your golf equipment repertoire and so um, first of all I think the most important thing to show is look how I mean, look how small and easily you know maneuverable this thing is uh, the magnets onto that stand it can easily set it up uh, it's a very I mean simple setup right you hit a couple buttons you set it up six to eight feet behind your hitting area and then you're all set to go once you download the Garmin Golf app. Yeah, and it's got a nice stand here where mm -hmm. you can put and place your phone right. and download the Garmin app, and then you can watch your shots as you're hitting shots. Exactly. Hitting the shots. You can easily set this thing up right here on your phone, and then you know you're hitting shots. Look back at your bag, and you got all the numbers right there. And so I actually did want to uh, also inform the viewers exactly which launch monitor metrics are available on this thing, because there's a huge. I mean, there's more than you really need. There's a um, lot. So this is going to be a long list. So bear with me. But club speed ball speed, carry distance, total distance, launch angle, spin rate, smash factor, face angle, club path, attack angle, apex height, and deviation distance. And we've done some testing, and we've looked at even the trackman numbers in comparison alongside it as well. Really good for considering the budget. Yeah, I mean, the fact that you're paying less than $1,000 for a device that picks up mm -hmm. you know, club path and face angle, attack angle, all those metrics that you usually don't get for that, for that value, that stands out to me. Right. And so now the viewers can see I'm on the app right now. Uh, so what you can do here, you could do a bunch of different things. And I think the most popular one for golfers is going to be going to the driving range on your app. You can bring up the app, you can start your training, or you can even go back in and look at previous sessions as well. Uh, to go back, look at the, the shots that you've hit in the past, look at your data, and you can track your progress over time. Let's say you're trying to gain more distance with your driver, right? You can look back at your sessions from weeks or months ago and then bring up, uh, you know, hit your shots at the same time at the current moment and see the numbers and see how things have changed. Yeah, I mean, if you're looking to improve your game, and as, as a teaching professional, I actually know other club professionals in the area that have their own, um, you know, looking to improve, improve your game is a great way and once again, at a more budget-friendly option. And then, of course, we mentioned you can play golf. And so uh, with Garmin, you get 42,000 golf courses that are downloaded into their database. So you can play golf at those courses, or you have the GPS functionality as well. So you can go on the course. You know, let's say we're at Les Bolsa here. You go play on the course. You can get the distance that you need to uh, the green as well. So it's pretty easy to do. And then, you know, lastly as well, we should mention, right, the connectivity to E6, to Awesome Golf, to TGC. Uh, those are uh, places where golf courses can be built there's a large database of golf courses with kind of a more uh, friendly display right with maybe a simulator screen maybe a uh, you know projector screen things like that you can play golf in and set up a big time home theater with just this small device right here yeah and this small device gives you the numbers and even furthermore thomas i mean it, it's a nice spring to summer day here in minnesota it's 70 degrees it's beautiful out but that's not always the case in minnesota and being able to do this inside or outside is pretty important and so today we took the garmin approach r10 into minnetonka at our bay hit some shots inside and outside and i think you we can i can speak for you as well the, the device is spot on with all the numbers that you need yeah it was spot on but not only it was just so simple and easy to set up and you put it down six feet away green light was on yep told me I was in the right spot, hit some shots, it was perfect. 
You're right, it's easy to use, it's budget friendly, and it gives you all the information you need and then some. And so golfers are very intrigued by it. There's a ton of hype around it, and there's good reason for it. So if you're interested in a Garmin Approach R10, visit secondswing.com or contact one of our online fitting and support team members, and we'll set you up with one of these devices. It'll help your game a ton.